Okay, welcome back. It's been a little while since I made a video for you for uh, fly time. Talking to my buddy Justin at work, and he requested some jig flies. Said he liked the uh, chartreuse the best, so I'm gonna make him some marabou jigs. And what I'm gonna use is basically just one marabou feather, and only a portion of that. What I have in the vise is a Unqua size 12 jig hook. Let's see here at the uh, U555 jig. And I'm going to start with several wrap, uh, about a dozen wraps. Let's go a whole dozen wraps of 020 lead wire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go ahead, uh, helicopter it off. Tighten it up. Spin it on there. Make sure it's all good and secure. Thread we're using is 140 denier, Danville in black. It's kind of maybe my last fly. I might get one more out of this on this uh, bobbin. Go ahead, start it right. In front, you want the lead to be about the middle of the shank of the hook. Bring the thread back up around the lead. Capture it. Wrap it up through a couple of times. Spin that thread down there. I noticed the farther down on the bobbin it gets, the more it kind of comes apart on me. I don't know why. It just Maybe it lays a little flatter when it's down there. All right, cut away the tag end. Next, we're going to tie on a yeah, yeah close enough. I'll hide that. I tie in a little bit of copper wire. I'm going to use it for ribbing. Take a little bit off. Tie in the copper wire. Now we're going to tie in some marabou. Feathers in uh, chartreuse. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some of this strung marabou. Took basically one feather off. I'm going to pull out. Let them drape down. Grasp them from the middle. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to cut them away from the stem. So now I have that much marabou. Take them from the tips. Pull them straight down. Pull any short ones out. And lay the tips back. Pull a couple other short ones out of there. Toward the rear of the fly, about one length of the shank. After you bring that thread back a little bit. They're not going to be even. Don't need to be even. Do a little pinch wrap. Make sure everything's on top. Just give it a couple good wraps there. Pull the feather up. Advance your thread to the front of the fly. 
Now you want to take that marabou, pull it straight up, give it a little twist, now this is going to be your body. You could wrap it up over that black thread, if you need to you can take your hackle pliers. Couple of wraps. We'll give it one more there. Tie it off. Hey, these are long ones that could pluck those out of there. Go ahead, cut away the excess. Trim that down just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and give it a few wraps. Now you're going to take your copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it. Get about four turns in there, maybe five. Let's do a five. Just try to keep it even. If you can. Got to tie it off. And now you can helicopter this uh, wire off. Give it a few turns. Alright, now we're going to add some chain bead eyes. Got these from Risen. They're pretty big. Pretty heavy. Want this to be a heavy fly. It's going to be a jig fly. Fished uh, with traditional, I just dropped that, traditional uh, spinning gear. Cut another one off find that later somewhere on my desk all right go ahead place the chain bead eyes it's uh, what I normally cut my chain bead just with utility scissors but I needed a couple of uh, steps here wire cutters to cut these little thicker ones lay it right on top Give it a few wraps. Do a figure eight. Line everything up. Now up and under, up and under several times. Another figure eight. I'm gonna do one thread. I just I got it off on there. Alright, at this point I'm going to go ahead and add a dab of super glue. Yeah, I'm going to just add it right on the bottom here. Let that soak in. Now we're going to add some hackle. This is a old uh, grizzly cock saddle patch all over. Got it at International Anglers a while back. You can see the an old sticker, 20 bucks back in the day. Go ahead and pull the couple uh, barbels off the bottom to expose that stem. You want to tie it in with the feathers. It'll be the shiny side front, the dull side rear. So the concaved feathers are flowing backwards. Good, wrap it in. 
catch it catch it in front of the uh, beads and behind that way it's nice and secure if you want to now you can go ahead and cut off that remaining stem it there a little bit that's fine all right now you're gonna take this hackle feather and you're gonna wrap it about four times one two three four pull it up behind the eyes go ahead capture it give it a few good wraps capture it good Go ahead and reach in there and cut that stem away. Give it a few good wraps, make sure it's going to stay nice and secure for you. And now we're going to add a little bit of dubbing. The dubbing we're going to use is super bright. This is uh, something I've been playing around with. And Got lots of colors to choose from. You can match it up where what I've been doing too is going just black. So I'm going to take this uh, little bit of black super bright. Not too much, just enough. That might be a little bit too much. Let's thin that out a little bit. Then I'm going to put a little wax on the thread. This here is uh, just beeswax. Lay it right on top, spin it on the thread, ends are a little dry so I'm put them in my Dixie cup full of water there, alright go ahead and dub behind the eyes and up over top doing a figure eight there. Up front, I like to flip the fly over at this time. We're going to tie it off right here with our whip finish tool. Pull it tight, cut away the thread. If you want, you can go ahead and put a little super glue right behind the eye. There we go. Bottle's getting a little glued up there. It lasted a while. What actually I like about this super glue, it never got hard on me. I've had this for a long time, I don't know, months, several months. I've had super glue in the past get hard on me, and I just, uh, this here has stayed fresh for a while. But there you have it. You got yourself a little chartreuse marabou jig. Something he can uh, dance around in the waters. Nice and little fuzzy looking. Got some ribs on it. Little hackle behind the head. Let me get this, uh, where do I have my... Tweezers, a little piece of super glue there. We'll get that off of there. I'll have to give a take a picture of this a little later for the camera. For the all right. Hope you like this fly, and I'm sure he'll let me know how many fish he catches with it. Him and his kids. All right. Appreciate you watching, and uh, I really appreciate all the. Subscribers I got lately, I haven't really earned their subscription that much. I've been putting out a lot of videos, but I'm trying to uh, still work for a living. And it's summertime, so I'm active. Uh, I've been painting my deck and stuff. So, all right. Thanks for sticking around. I'll talk to you later. Cheers.